now we go to another part in a nutshell i am telling you i am covering the chapter in a nutshell means very important things for example zinc sulfide for example sodium chloride potassium chloride aluminium oxide zinc sulfide copper pyrites pbs lead sulfide zn co3 zinc carbonate ca co3 calcium carbonate these are called ores means these are available naturally in the crust from which we extract metals like we extract zinc we extract copper we extract lead we extract zinc we extract calcium we extract aluminium we extract potassium we extract sodium few examples i have taken we even you can take an example of hgs cinnabar mercuric sulfide you can prepare mercury when you extract metals easily economically we use the word ores minerals metallurgy purification many methods are there in the pus level you are going to learn in detail in detail if you want to extract these these are high reactive elements high middle reactivity middle reactivity it is a low reactivity example mercury comes under low near to after hg i mean hydrogen if you want to extract these the common agenda is pass electricity so that they split for example this one it splits into al plus 3 and o oxygen minus 2 we have to balance it 3 oxygen and 2 al i mean to tell you k cl this one k plus cl minus splits into ions they move they migrate this move towards say anode it is positive this move towards cathode it deposits as a metal because it is cation cathode is negative it is anion anode is positive they bifurcate aluminum bifurcates just by passing electricity no other methods so means highly reactive elements are obtained i mean metals are obtained from their ores by passing electricity middle reactivity contain two types one is sulfides and the one is carbonates if you want zinc sulfide first you have to heat with the coke sorry first oxygen oxygen here also oxygen here also oxygen plentiful availability of oxygen when you supply oxygen to this in the factory they do it under certain conditions what happens zinc combines with oxygen to form zinc oxide because metals are having you know most affinity towards oxygen that's why first we convert sulfides into oxides it is very easy to further obtain metal that's why for they are converted into oxides and then what we get is so2 it is a gas this zinc zinc oxide i write here it 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 is heated with coke it is called reducing i mean this one is called reducing agent 
it is called roasting in presence of oxygen this coke combines readily or removes oxygen to form carbon monoxide and zinc is obtained zinc oxide is reduced to zinc it is called reduction c is added by oxygen it is called oxidation reduction oxidation in the first chapter of chemistry redox reaction so what you have got here zinc that's why it is called reducing agent it removes the oxygen from metal oxide very easily quickly like that all these things you can go for but the strange thing is here when you pass oxygen you will get hgo plus so2 this mercuric oxide immediately converts into mercury immediately the reason is it is called auto reduction it does not require any agent by itself converts into mercury under certain conditions so whenever they use the word sulfide you remember immediately roasting first convert into oxides oxides into metal metal into purification and if you come across zinc carbonate and this one it is called calcination that is in absence of air or limited supply of air it forms zinc oxide again see metal oxide metal oxide with coke again what you get zinc means sulfide ores roasting carbonate ores calcination you remember this and it is a low reactivity in the middle there are two in the main it is electricity electrical energy electrolysis and one thing remember a fe 2 o3 hematite you know railway tracks hematite ore if the gap between the rails is more there is a problem accident of trains that's why they check even for welding you remember we use sticks you know it aluminum sticks what they do they produce a spark more heat it is called therm thermite thermite therm means heat what happens fe2o3 forms fe i have written here l l means liquid it forms a liquid you can easily move the liquid and cover the gap welding and what you else get what you call al2o3 aluminum oxides here along with that you are going to get more heat more heat so it is called thermite process but the strange thing is here carbon is not used aluminum used is used as a reducing agent one thing remember you, if you watch there always heat is produced i have not balanced the equation heat is produced so with this i can tell i have covered the entire chapter into main parts remaining things are there you can understand by just reading these reactions are very important for examination point of view so that's why it is called thermite process aluminum thermite process so in this way i can tell the part the explanation part over this is completed even you can write uh, delta means heating reaction should be straight so fe plus al2o3 plus what you call heat with this the total chapter with some main important things i have covered thank you